Hi there! If you're here it's because you are interested in transformational type of work so congratulations for landing here. Actually I'm very excited because I've worked with all kinds of people who've done EFT, NLP, EMDR and all kinds of different processes but what I know from using the Heart Freedom Method which is what you're going to get exposed today in this little um, guide that we're providing you is, is something that's very magical because we can help you let go of beliefs in 10 to 15 minutes and once you let them go they're gone they're not coming back you can find different angles on the belief but the belief that you're working on you won't have to do you know tons of work to try to make it go away it doesn't take hours it takes 10 to 15 minutes to find a moment when a belief got stored in your physiology and how to get rid of it. So today what I'm doing with you is I'm exposing you to the beginning of the method. So the, the outcome of today is you will become aware in your body of where you store emotions, where you store beliefs that are now holding you back because you are where you are right now in your life because of how much you're allowing yourself to come into your life because when subconsciously when subconsciously you have associated more pain than pleasure or more danger than safety to something you want consciously, it won't let you have it. Why? Because relatively speaking, your subconscious would be the size of a football field and your conscious mind that wants success this size. So can you see that your subconscious mind is not your enemy, it's actually there to keep you alive. So it's important not to be <laughs> upset with it. Actually, when I work with some clients, there are some beliefs that I want them to, to keep because it enhances their performance. Since I work with athletes, entrepreneurs, and all kinds of people who have responsibility. So I'm, I'm very happy you're here. I'm so excited that I can teach you and show you how you can become aware that your subconscious mind has been Yes, supporting you to keep you alive, but also sometimes you need to become aware that it's working against you. And that it's not because you were born under an unlucky star that you've been blocked, that you have not been able to get where you want. Because if you're here right now, I know you're driven. I know you want to live a great life. You, you probably, maybe you're a parent and you don't want to pass your beliefs to your kids. You don't want to be in reaction. You want to be in action. So welcome and I'll teach you the first part of, of this work that I do that I, I'm so excited to bring into the world because I've been doing it since 1989. So in 1989 I started to do mind-body work with my patients, my background, I'm a chiropractor. So I've literally done this with thousands and thousands of people one-on-one. -on -one. So I have lots of practice and I wanted to create a method that everybody could use, that you can learn, that you can use whenever you need it. You're in the moment you want to perform, you have a phone call you want to make or any things you want to do that, uh, you know, an Olympic gold medal, a, a big hockey game, uh, a date, um, family situation. I want to be able to help you so that when you are in that moment, you have a tool you can use that you, it gives you confidence. That's what my clients who are using it tell me. It's like, you know, even though I know I'm going to have emotions moving forward, I feel safer now because subconsciously I know I can I can always access this tool that I have. So let me tell you a little bit about it. So there are three clues that you have a subconscious belief working against you. One is procrastination. It's not a lack of willpower. It's not because you're lazy. It's not because you lack confidence, although that can be it also. It's because subconsciously you have associated more pain than pleasure, more danger than safety. So why, you know, why is it that when you know if you picked up the phone, you can have this amazing date or you can have this amazing new contract, but you're not doing it, everything else becomes more important. It's because of your subconscious mind holding you back because it does not want you to get hurt, to get in trouble. The other sign that you have a subconscious belief working against you is it feels like drudgery. It means like you're doing it, but you're using so much energy. It's so hard on you. I see that often with going to the gym or sticking to a healthy lifestyle or 
having you know, a certain type of experience when in a boardroom. All of these places, you can do it, but oh, it's taking a lot of your energy. The number three clue that you have something working against you and your subconscious mind is you keep getting the opposite results. And that one is really frustrating for people like you who are dedicated, who want to make a difference in your life. You, you do everything right, but somebody else always gets the promotion or you always end up in the same patterns with your relationship or you always make the wrong kind of investment. So these are the three clues that you have a subconscious belief working against you. So with this little guide, what I'm going to teach you is first, I want you to look at all the different areas of your life. So if we start with we have the spiritual aspect. What is the spiritual aspect? It's the ability to connect to your higher self, to feel gratitude, to have love in your heart, all of these things that we feel when we feel spiritually connected. The other one is social. What kind of social interactions do you have? Are you comfortable? Can you stand in front of the boardroom and give you know, a presentation? Can you go to a party and feel comfortable. How do you feel socially? The other one is family. And those are not naturally, they're not in order of importance. They're all important. So family, do you have reactions? You know, if you go to the Thanksgiving dinner, you promise yourself you're not going to react to Uncle Joe, but ah, it always gets you or to your mom or these relationships that you have that are challenging and you don't understand why why is it impossible for you to find true love i can guarantee you most people are afraid of love most people because they have associated great pleasure and i have a, a fourth book i'm working on right now it's called love is safe if it's not safe it's not love why because from working with thousands of people people have associated infatuation with love so when it doesn't work out they get really upset and they think that's love which is not that's another whole story family then we have finances um one of my clients she funny enough she's a financial advisor and she could never put money into her bank account she was able to help her clients but always something was happening. Why? When we did the work that I teach, we ended up figuring out that when she was a little kid, she had to go and do errands for her uncle that she didn't like doing. She promised herself she would never get paid <laughs> to do errands ever again. She wasn't gonna choose the errand she wanted to do. So financially, you can be hitting a ceiling. And even though it might be a good ceiling compared to others, it might not be the ceiling you have access to. The other one is career. And again, the same thing happens there. Why is it everybody else gets the promotion? You don't, you always hit the ceiling. At some point you feel like the self-confidence goes away. Uh, another one that we have is physical health. Some people suffer from headaches, from back pain, from all kinds of things. And using the method, you can find out when the Pavlovian, the condition response got created in you. Uh, also regarding weight. Um, some people cannot put on weight, some people cannot lose the weight, and often is, is a belief that's working behind all of this. And the other one is your environment. Because sometimes a house, an apartment, a car, there's always something happening. It's always a mess, or it's always been well organized. You feel you don't deserve to have what you want in your environment. That's very important. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the last one is knowledge. Some people feel they're not able to gain knowledge studying. I have one of my clients, she was doing a PhD and she couldn't sit down at the computer to do her thesis. So again, working with her, we found out when she was a little kid, something happened to her that made her believe she couldn't do, you know, challenging task. And we did a session, 10 minutes, and she was able to go back and work on her thesis. We can, you can use this for anything. Like if you don't think you're smart enough, if you don't think you're capable of gaining knowledge, this is also applicable there. So the heart freedom method that I am going to introduce you to today is an amazing tool that will free you. And every time you do it, it's an amazing relief. So 
I want you to take a moment right now, you can pause as we, as we go along. I want you to take a moment right now and think about where in which area of your life do you have procrastination? So turn it off right now and go see where is it you're procrastinating? All right, welcome back. Where is it in you, which area of your life does it feel like drudgery? You're doing it, you got, oh, you're muscling it through, but uh, it's not fun. So turn it off, take a moment, look at it. Okay. Now the third one is, where is it that you get the opposite result? No matter how hard you try. And I can guarantee you, it's not because you were born in, under an unlucky star that this is happening to you. We can actually get you to have the results you want, especially when you're taking action. So look at where is it in your life that no matter how hard you work, you get the opposite result. So take a moment, turn it off, come back. All right, great. So what did you discover in which area of your life and I can guarantee you, we do this all the time. Some scientists who study you know, human behavior believe that 90 to 95% of what we do is actually pre-programmed from past beliefs that we created. So as you move forward, and if you learn the heart freedom method with me in my Unleash Your Dream Life program, you're going to see that um, it's an amazing way of moving forward because there's always something that pops up so it's great to have in your back pocket so i want you to take one of the things that you wrote right now because i'm going to give you an experience on how you can access your subconscious mind so think of one of these things the most important one that you have right now all right so let's say imagine yourself to go on a date or to pick up the phone to call a client or to be at the starting gate of a race or being asked to do a speech in the boardroom. Take any moment that you know that you're having one of those things being activated. All right. And now what we're going to do is because how I need to help you find the moment when you, you got the belief is at first I need to allow you to feel the, in your body the subconscious mind. Kent Asper, who wrote Molecules of Emotions, she wrote a book and she says, this is our whole subconscious, a whole body. So you're going to experience sensations in your body that you were not experiencing just before you start focusing. So think of one of the things, let's say picking up the phone to do something. Choose whatever it is that you need to choose. Now I want you to close your eyes because it's easier. You don't have to, but when you close your eyes, you go into the alpha state and it's easier for you to become present with your body. So I want you to scan your body now. Become present with that thing that's not happening, that block that you know your subconscious mind is working against you. Scan your body. Where in your body do you have the sensation? And don't worry, it's like whatever pops up is the right one because people are very smart, very cerebral, they're having a hard time sometimes feeling it's okay, you're safe. You can do this too. <laughs> you're just like everybody else. You can also feel. All right, so allow yourself to feel. Is it in your chest, your arms, your head, your belly, your legs, your feet? Where is it? What's the shape? Is it a disc, a ball, a rectangle, a heart, an amoeba? Whatever pops up, just become present with it. I know you can do this. Little kids do it. You can do it. What's the color? Light, dark, blue. What's the color? What's the temperature? Hot, cold, body temperature? What is it? And last one is what is the texture? Smooth, rough, spiky, ethereal, like a cloud. What is it like? All right, so become present with that 
sensation in your body, the location, the shape, the color, the temperature and the texture, be one with it and feel what it is in your body. Okay. Sometimes just by doing this you'll remember the moment when something got stored in your physiology. But if the only thing you become aware of right now is this, like you become present with the sensation right now, know that when you go to pick up the phone, just become present with the sensation so that you know it's not because you shouldn't be doing what you need. It will give you a sense of control. It's just the beginning of the method. I'm sorry, I cannot give you the whole method. It will be more complicated <laughs> than I want to make it right now. Even though the method is very easy, it takes a longer time. That's why I created the Unleash Your Dream Life program. But just take a moment right now to feel this so that the next time that you're in a situation where you know something is blocking you, you will know. You will know 100%, ah, it's not because I'm unlucky. It's not because I'm not meant to have what I want in life. It's happening because in my physiology right now, there's a subconscious belief that's there. I have the proof, I can feel it. Because if you start thinking about something where you're you know, totally unrelated, your next baseball game or whatever, you're gonna feel something totally different in your body. So I hope that you find this really interesting and that it makes you curious so you wanna learn how to do the heart freedom method, the full, uh, on. I would love, love, love to have you. I will send you more information. So um, thanks for being here, for connecting, for transforming your life because when people are happy, this is how we change the world. People who are, who are unhappy are the people who are difficult to be with. So congratulations for taking your life into your hand and empowering yourself to have a beautiful life.